All right, story time. Um, I'm gonna just be honest. I'm not gonna this. I hate talking about this. To- Why well, I don't hate talking about this topic. It's a very important topic, but I don't want to talk about it in a place of lightness. So we're not gonna do a karaoke. So I'm gonna do two story times. Okay. Um, the first story time I'm gonna do is what happened recently. Mm-hmm. I'm at home. I get a text message from our oldest son Jackson that they had to do a hard lockdown in school today. So he texts me. He goes, hey, Dad, there was a hard lockdown in school today. Mm-hmm. So I respond back, are you okay? Mm-hmm. I don't get a response. Mm. Oh, child. For and like, I'm in Sweden. Yeah, you're in, you're oh in Sweden. God. I, I get don't that. get a response for a good seven minutes, right? And the father in me is like, fuck this. I'm going to the school right now, mm-hmm. right? And then I start thinking of all of the possibilities, right? If I pull up at the school and I, I, first of all, if I grab my firearm and I pull up in the school and I show up in the school ready to save my son and there is no emergency, then I look like the crazy father, mm-hmm. right? What if I'm on my way to school with my foreign firearm and I get pulled over? Mm-hmm. You know, I'm thinking about all of these things in my mind. And while I'm thinking about what to do, then I get a text from Jackson after about seven, eight minutes. And he goes, yeah, I'm fine. There was a fight amongst the eighth graders. Mm -hmm. So there was a hard lockdown. Mm -hmm. And it really made me like sit back and think, like, is this the world we are in right now? Where the kids are so, like we used to do fire drills. Remember fire drills? I remember fire drills, yep. Fire drills. The the, the alarms start going off. Everybody lines up at the door. We go down in a a, a double file line down the stairs. We go outside. Mm -hmm. We get lined up around the school. Then we go inside. Jackson tells me now they do hard lockdown drills and soft lockdown drills. Mm -hmm. And it's crazy to me that that is the world we live in. But I'm going to take y'all back to the second story time is 1999, heading into my first year of high school. Um, I believe that was the year uh, Columbine happened. Or it was the year right after, but that was the first Columbine shooting. I believe it was in 1999. That was like the first memorable, the first memorable one, one of mass shootings in schools. And right. I remember that in New York, they had just started putting metal detectors mm-hmm. in schools, and mm-hmm. it was a big deal, mm-hmm. right? Because I remember having to go. I got to go through the metal detectors every morning in New York City High School. Every single morning, I got to be there 30 minutes early so I can go through the metal detectors. And parents are, were upset because their children shouldn't have to go through this process to get an education, right? And now, here we are, 24 years later, and now my son is doing hard lockdown drills from mass shootings. It's wild. It is absolutely ridiculous. Ridiculous. 